Hello there, Crazy Blind Jake here with another affordable weapon review. Sorry, it's been a while, but here we go. Today we are looking at the Kingfisher, which I believe is made by Condor Tool, the knife company. Don't quote me on that. I got this one at a somewhat dubious website, so it might not be an official one, but I'm pretty sure that it is. And I have some complaints based on how it came, but we'll get into that. So the Kingfisher is meant to be one of those modern sword machetes. It has an unfinished wooden handle, so you can stain it whatever you want, which I kind of like that. It has a very nice ergonomic grip, but I will say it's for someone with probably larger hands. It has a knuckle guard that functions quite well for self-defense reasons as well, or combat reasons. Look at that. It's a whole lot of face smashing capability right there. Little points and hooks. I will say the machining on this is not so great. So there are some edges that probably shouldn't hurt you as the wielder of said object, and they can if you're not careful. And I will say it did come really sharp. However, if you look, it's almost like the blade is, the metal itself is like stained or patinaed already when I got it in. This is how it came in the packaging, mind you. And if you look very closely, it also came with a fouled tip. The tip is either very broke, is either just barely broken off and slightly rolled over, like someone dropped it in the factory or something and still put it in the packaging. Not a huge deal, fixable, but just, you know, kind of think they could have done better. I will say the overall blade design is very nice. It's got that, like, false edge thing going there. Which, actually, I wouldn't even call it a false edge because it is moderately sharp. Could be sharp, or moderately sharp for thrusting. So that when you thrust, the first quite a bit of that blade there is going to thrust a lot easier if it didn't have a fouled tip. And the edge is pretty nice and sharp as far as, like, sword machetes go. I've gotten some from other companies that came a lot sharper, but... This one's definitely a very serviceable edge. I wouldn't want someone trying to hack me up with it, that's for sure. It does have, for lack of better terms, a machined fuller. And it is on both sides, the fuller. Or what people call a blood groove. It's not a blood groove, it's a fuller. So, good on them. The, the overall design of this is really cool and really nice. I think they could have made it a little bit smaller in the hilt construction. Um, and even maybe even a little bit, maybe they should make a slightly smaller version that I think would be even better um, in a lot of ways. It did not come with a scabbard or sheath, so that's a drawback. I do like this here on the back side of the blade there. So you can place your thumb against it for thrusting as well, and also helps as a form of protection. Overall, it's a really cool design. I just and kind of lackluster in some of the finish work, I guess you would say, of this weapon. But the price wasn't bad. At all. I mean, I think that with a little TLC, this could be a gorgeous piece. But for now, it's definitely an extremely functional piece. And I will say that they definitely hit the nail on the head if that's what they were trying to do. Try to make something functional as a sword, but it also robust as a tool. And with a really awesome design. Nice job. But honestly, all in all, I can only give it like 3 out of 5 stars. I'm just not that impressed with it. I mean, it's not bad. But I think with a little bit of work, if they went back to the grind and... Tried a few other little things. I think that it could easily become a 5 out of 5 star weapon. But for now, the Condor Tool and Knife Kingfisher. 3 out of 5 stars. Not bad. But not super great either. But you know what? If you catch one for the right price, pick one up. I, I will say that. Pick one up. It's worth picking up. It's not garbage, that's for sure. But be careful when you get them. And maybe in, if you're going to be able to buy one in person, that would be a little bit better. 
so maybe you can inspect it overall make sure you don't get one with a foul tip or with this weird patina that's going on or whatever all right anyway stay safe stay healthy train hard don't hurt yourselves or others and well just don't, 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 don't hurt yourself with a pointy end.